Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, what we are going to do is to determine the actual uh, ground pressure of this uh, tank or how much ground pressure this tank is exerting to the ground right now when it is uh, now sitting on this uh, solid uh, hard concrete. As you can see, this is a concrete now, the first video that I made is uh, I determined the length of the track that is in direct contact with the ground and that is about 155 inch and uh, I just multiplied it with the width of the track that is about 23 inch and to get the total area because we have two tracks I multiplied it with two that give us about 7,130 square inch. Now, this tank is uh, 70,400 pounds. So to get the ground pressure per square inch, we're going to divide 70,400 pounds divided by 7,130 square inch. That's going to give us about 9.87 square inch or 9.87 pounds per square inch ground pressure now the commenter one commenter noted that actually that's uh, not the case uh, when the tank is uh, sitting on top of this hard concrete uh, surface because uh, this tank is in incorporates the T34 link as you will notice here there's a ridge on the surface of the track so actually not all of the surface of the track is in direct contact with the, the concrete but it's all actually riding on this ridge so what I did is I determined the surface area of this ridge so the surface area of this ridge is about 10 inch long time is 3 fourth inch with this meter so each ridge is about 7 uh, 10 inch time is uh, 3 fourth inch turns out to be about 7.5 square inch per ridge now we have two reads here, time is two, so we have 15 square inch surface area. The next thing I did is I counted how many track was in direct contact with the ground. So one, two, three, four. Up, so up to here is 25 tracks. So we have uh, 25 tracks of section that is in direct contact with the ground. Now we are going to multiply it with the total surface area of this uh, torrids times is 15. So 25 times 15 and then we are going to multiply it with 2 times is 2. That is going to give us about 750 square inch surface area. Okay, so we are going to divide uh, the weight of the tank that is about 70,400 pounds divided by 750 50 square inches. That is going to give us about 93.8 pounds per square inch. Ground pressure or roughly 94 pounds per square inch. So that's the ground pressure of the tank while sitting on this hard concrete. But when the tank is uh, sitting on a soft ground like snow or soil this tank is uh, going to be a bit uh, lighter that is uh, only it's only going to exert 9.87 pounds per square inch to the ground that's about it guys and thanks for watching if you have any comment please uh, uh, put it uh, down below and uh, we'll just talk about this